Matt says we have a 365 group, a non team, and would like to set what's a non team? Non teams, not just a group, not teams. I just think. a group. Just and would like group. to set members to have read only access. However, there are areas we can't edit this and where uh, we can doesn't work. Good phrasing. An example is the calendar. We want it only editable by owner, editable by owners, but allow the members to view it. Any insight? I'd like to set members to have read only access. Yeah, oh, it's I read, it's, they got an I Outlook. They got an Outlook group. They got an Outlook group. It's a, it's a it's a non team. Then it's got to be an Outlook group, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah or an M three sixty five group without. Yes. Yeah. 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 So or where's SharePoint that calendar group. hosted then? Or SharePoint, or SharePoint group. group. That's what <laughs> I thought. So in SharePoint, do. you can yeah. change the permissions, right? To where yes. you can have the owner's permissions yeah. be. I just didn't know in the team, I didn't know in the Office 365 where that calendar is hosted. And, you know, they don't automatically show up in Outlook anymore when you create them. You have to PowerShell them back in. Um, like they used to be default. There's so a the, button you, now. Is there a button now? Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Because that should have been a button from the beginning. It's like, no, have this show in Calen in the uh, Outlook, but it's it's not stored in Exchange. That calendar is not in, in like a Outlook Exchange calendar when it's. So to Christie's point, it depends, right? Is it a SharePoint calendar? Is it an Outlook calendar? Is it a group calendar that was created with the group, or is it an Exchange calendar that you created as a shared calendar that's not associated to specifically to a group? So it kind of depends. If it's a Exchange calendar, you can manage permissions very, very easily. If it is a SharePoint calendar, you can manage permissions very, very easily. If it is a group resource calendar, that gets a little bit more difficult. Yeah. So much complexity around calendars. I've never said this before, but I think there should be like an ebook that uh, that kind of <laughs> organizes calendars. <laughs> So we I mean, need links on it's how to. It's been mentioned. It's it's yeah, been mentioned, yeah. right? <laughs> I know. Just it's, crazy. Yeah. I also think it's just sorry, folks. Just soapboxing here for a second, but I also think it's it's kind of like tasks across Microsoft 365. Oh, don't even stop there. There needs to be. <laughs> there needs to be. That's well, a can I, of worms. I, I know, but I well, my but there's movement there, and there's some there's yes. a team that's looking specifically cross product. At that, and I'm just saying that Microsoft should, hey, Jeff Teeper, should be somebody dedicated <laughs> to Hashtag. looking at calendars. I guess I put calendaring right up there, like they've consolidated and simplified mm -hmm. sharing as an example across all the products and said, hey, it needs to be homogenous. It needs to be, yes. you need to have a consistent experience when you're sharing, no matter what product across all of these different platforms calendars falls into that category i believe there needs yeah. to be consistent behavior there's features that are missing uh it I, it's handled completely differently it needs to be consolidated it's like calendars as a service should be something that is centralized and that every platform then consumes that service because right. outlook you can overlay fun. calendars uh, outlook totally. you can overlay calendars sharepoint you used to be able to now you can't anymore can't. so mm -hmm. seeing a centralized calendar everybody needs that i mean i yeah. have this not just in my own tenant and all the different workspaces but in my world you know we have like 15 logins for each customer how do so we have we have to get an outside service like calendly that lets us cross mesh all of those read yeah. them and find our availability for people because yep. just because I'm available here does not mean I'm available over here. Yeah, yeah. Once just again, saying, Matt, you that. opened yet another can of worms there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> And you can use third party web parts for this. So um, like quiz quiz has a fantastic calendar plus web part that I use for one of my clients um, that essentially can bring in your existing M365 calendars and then do overlays and you can customize like how it looks and how people access it and permissions and things like that. So, I mean, it can be done, but there's kind of like there's something that has to go in the middle to make that happen if you are using a group calendar as opposed to the SharePoint calendar or the Exchange calendars that you can do the permissions behind the scenes. There are ways to do it. It's just a matter of if you're asking out of the box, no. But if you're asking 
Can we do it with some custom stuff on top? Yes. You should grab a, a link to that. You said. Yes, quiz. please. I haven't heard that, that one before. There? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll I'll throw a link in here for you. So I'm actually a partner with them um, and I've been real happy with a lot of their products, but they have some pretty neat, pretty neat web parts. Oh, they've done. They asked me to be an evangelist for them at one point and they figured out the features that should have been built into SharePoint 20 years ago that we've been asking for, like creating uh, secured views of lists. So you can secure a view instead of or secure a column, which we can't do out of the box of SharePoint. So. I think the SharePoint team needs to go talk to those guys and figure out how they did it and build it in. <laughs> but yeah, they've done a lot of really neat stuff. I've been a big fan of them. Good tool. Thank you.